Now I have another cutter for you. This is called the Logan Intermediate Mat Cutter. And the benefit of this is that it is a thicker cutter. It has a thicker base on it. It's a three quarter inch thick base. It's got the vinyl covering on it. it. Does have the little pads underneath it to keep it from slipping. But it's longer, so it accommodates a full 32 by 40 inch sheet of mat board. Now the guide rail on this is also a little wider. And the head that goes with this machine is also different. So let me show you the side of this first, and then we'll get to the head. This mat guide over here is also a little wider. You still use it in the same fashion. You unscrew the little knobs, you push it down, and you slide it over and measure for the width of your mat border, as usual. Now this moves up. As you notice, this is a full hinge. The other one was a snap uh, hinge or a spring-loaded hinge. This one is a full hinge here, so it opens right up so you have easy access to this for different kinds of mats that you might be making. Now here's this head. Let's have a look at this head. This is the Logan 702 mat cutter. And you put your fingers like so and your thumb over here. And you push down on it. And the difference between this cutter and the compact is that this one you're going to pull this towards you. Now the blade is also calibrated, as all the Logan cutters are, to cut through one mat board and then just scratch the surface of your slip sheet. You bring this back up. You have your two clips over here, and the clips will hook onto your guide rail. And we've got this nifty new thing, and this is called an anti-crawl pin. And this you push down, and just a little tiny head of the pin will pierce the mat board, and it'll hold still while you insert the blade. Because sometimes people wouldn't hold the head real still, and it'd crawl a little bit and cause a hook. Now let's take a look at the back of this. This uh, also has, as all the Logan cutters do, have this nice little silver mark over here, or sometimes called a scribe mark. And this uh, lines up with your pencil mark so that you always know where to stop and start. The 702 bevel cutter will give you a nice clean cut in perfect corners. Now, you're going to need this as well, because this is your straight line cutter again. And we're going to use this to trim your boards down. Now, this is an option with your compact cutter if you buy this separately. But it does come with this cutter. And you are going to need it to cut down boards unless you use some other kind of a uh, knife or blade configuration. We're going to cut a double mat. And in order to cut a double mat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim one of the mat boards down a little bit smaller. This one is the one that I cut earlier, the single mat. And I'm going to turn this into a double. Now this beige board is going to be my under mat. So I'm going to need to trim it just a little bit. And a lot of people just like to try to cut two mat boards, 11 by 14, and then cut their mats. But you'll be amazed at how easy this is to do in this fashion. This is a perfect double mat. And in order to do that, you trim down the under mat, the color that's going to be underneath. And I just take off a little bit. You could take off you know, even a smaller amount, just as long as you take off a little of the mat. Now I'm going to use double stick tape. And I'm going to use this mat, put this mat on top of that. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of tape. Let me see if I can hold this still here. A flat surface would come in real handy here, but we'll just work right in the middle here. Okay, now I've put some tape, five pieces of tape, not a lot, because sometimes you have to take it off again. Center that board on the back here. Just center it, okay, just so that it's not in the way. What you're creating is a template that this is going to be used twice in a row for the matting so that you'll have an even measurement. Now you put this, this is a real test of a perfect mat cutter, by the way. If you can take your center and put it in any old way and it comes out perfect, you know you've got a great mat, mat cutter. And it does. All right. Now, I've got this stuck down. I'm going to turn this face down and put this in the mat cutter. Now it's a double thickness here. All right. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to adjust this, loosen the knobs, snap them, Move this out to three inches. Now, I already cut the other one at two and a half. So that means I'm going to have a half of an inch of that beige border. Pencil, so you know where to stop and start. Don't make your pencil lines as dark as I'm making them. I'm making them so that you can see them here in the video. But generally, you'd want to make these pretty light, because pencil does transfer to the artwork. Now, we've got our new cutter here. We're going to take this head and hook it onto the guide rail. Set it on, match up your little silver marking here with pencil, push in your anti-crawl pin, push in the head blade, and bring it down and stop at your little silver marking. Do your next side, 
put it in, push in the pin. Okay, so you can kind of balance the head on there if you get pretty good at this. Pin in, blade, let go of the pin. Pin's on a little spring, so it should pop right up again. Make sure you're tucked into the corner so that the mat board doesn't shift while you're cutting. See, now that you've got perfect even borders, and that is created by using this outside edge as your template. And that way, you've only got one set of measurements going. You don't have two different size boards. So a little bit of tape and a little bit of ingenuity there, and you get a perfect double mat and no overcuts on any of those corners.